What up, what up? Nicholas, first one in the chat. If you're getting here early, upper right-hand corner, drop a like on the stream. Exciting, exciting day. I uh, can't wait to jump into it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Guys, if you're getting here early, the best time to ask a question is early because that's before the chat gets swamped. Also, massive, 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 uh, massive thank you to everyone who does go to the upper right-hand corner and drops a like on the stream. Super, super helpful. Daniel, good to see you. Day for day. Liam, Peter, Wavy, Dave, oh, good to see you, man. That name always gives me a chuckle. Jordy, Keith, Harlan, Steven, Aaron, Adam, Alex, The Endurance, David, Galeo, David Hall, Della, Ayo, Adam, Sean, good to see you guys, good to see you guys. Definitely an exciting day. Um, we're we're going to jump, jump into it. I don't know, uh, for those of you who saw me, I was on the crypto, uh, Galicio, good to see you, Keith. Uh, I was on the Crypto Town Hall show earlier today, absolutely fighting with the Bitcoin maxis. It, it was a 1v7, but I think I held my own pretty good. Um, yeah, it, it, we're going to jump in. This is going to be a good, good, good day for a nice stablecoin discussion. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Um, for those of you guys who know, uh, I actually tweeted at David Schwartz a couple weeks back saying Ripple should release their own stablecoin. Um, looks, looks like they're here. So, uh, this is really, really exciting. 801. Yeah. I saw you down there, man. I saw you down there. Good. I'm glad you did. Oh man. Uh, I think, I think I did pretty well. It's always tough not to lose my cool up there. Right. When I'm talking to so many different morons, but, uh, you know, I, I think I did a pretty good job to keep my cool and just try to give them uh, a big dose of education right to the face, right? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Daniel, man. I'd love to work with Ripple. I'd love to work for Ripple. Um, guys, make sure to go to the upper right-hand corner, drop a like. We already have close to 200 people in here, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can at least get the likes up past 100. That'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Frank. All right, guys, any questions, drop them in the chat because I'm going to rant about stable coins for a little bit. So if you have any questions before I start the stable coin rant, just drop them down. Ed, good to see you. Good to see you, man. I always love having you in the stream. Uh, yeah, the Bitcoin maxis are clowns. Look, it was so funny. I was on stage and they're all telling me, look, no one's using Ripple's technology. No one's using Ripple's technology. And I'd go to them and I'd be like, all right, then tell me why the product is growing hundreds of percent year over year and why is Ripple doing billions of dollars cross-border payments with XRP? And none of them had an answer for it, right? Their response is, oh, that's that's not true. But it is true. So um, look, these people are heavily incentivized to try to FUD and try to create fear around Ripple and XRP. Ultimately, I think it's failing. What are my thoughts on the XRP documentary? I'm super excited for it. I think it's I think it's going to be in incredible. Um, I think it's unfortunate that there's people in the XRP community fudding the documentary. Um, I think those people are just kind of permanently salty, right? Uh, they they they're just always looking for something to be mad at. But look, I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, the production quality on it is great. Um, look, as long as you have an XRP documentary that is done well and uh, has good production and obviously tries to push forward good information, there's no drawbacks to that, right? Like you might not like certain parts of the documentary. You might not like certain people in the documentary, but overall, it's a really, really good thing for the ecosystem. Uh, I don't know what the release date for the stablecoin is. Um, the purpose of the stablecoin, right, is to build a premium dollar denominated unit on the XRP ledger. For whatever reason, Circle hasn't done it. Um, I personally said, right, I'm not going to invest in Circle unless Circle uh, builds a stable coin on the XRP ledger. Circle hasn't done that. So no investment uh, in Circle for me. But I, I just don't understand why they wouldn't have done this. Um, Circle is now going to end up not being the leader for a stable coin on the XRP ledger which I think is a massive loss for Circle. Um, 
it would have been very easy for Circle to uh, for Circle to go in and just provide this service and be the leader in that market. They chose not to do it. Um, so uh, it's shocking that they didn't do it. But this is going to be a huge win for the XRP ledger and a huge win for the automated market maker. And because the automated market maker was lacking, right? Lacking a good form of deposit. So it's absolutely incredible that Ripple stepped up and did this. And guys, it's going to be a money maker for Ripple, right? Ripple is just taking in dollars, issuing the XRP ledger stable coin, and they're going to be able to invest those dollars into dollar uh, stable coin. I mean, invest those dollars into treasuries and make more money. So it's going to be a new easy revenue maker for Ripple, which is always good. Darren said, congrats on the chat this morning, defending XRP. Heard you go up against Simon and Andrew. Yeah, you know, I actually don't dislike Simon that much. Um, I actually legitimately think Simon's just uneducated. I, I legitimately think Simon, um, I think Simon, right, obviously is a Bitcoin maxi and he doesn't like XRP, but I think he he at least had the the manhood to admit, right, that he didn't know what he was talking about. He at least had the balls to come out and say, you know what, you're probably right. I haven't done my research here. So I'll give Simon props for that. Andrew, right, Andrew was just trying to talk really slowly and talk over me because he knew I was destroying him with facts, which, you know, I, you know, that's not something I really, that's not something I can really give anyone credit for. Simon straight up admitted he didn't know what he was talking about. Simon straight up came out and said, look, you're probably right. And I need to take a second look at this. So regardless of Simon changes his mind, I do admit, I do uh, respect him at least coming out and saying that. A Andrew, on the other hand, uh, I, I think he was having a much harder time coping with the fact, right, that the XRP ledger is getting real world adoption and he just doesn't like it. And the point I really tried to push to that group of people, right, is that's a group of people who talks about meme coins on their space every single day, day in and day out. All they talk about is meme coins. And, and it's Mario Nafal's Crypto Town Hall. So Crypto Town Hall, you can give it a listen and you'll absolutely love it. I, I, I don't want to like be... Um, I don't want to be like taking credit for myself, right? But I think it was one of my, uh, I think it was one of my better, uh, better performances. I thought it was one of my better performances just because um, sometimes in those situations, it's hard to keep your cool, right? And just be respectful, even though you don't want to be respectful. You just kind of want to call the people clowns and uh, really get at them a little bit. But I, I really tried to keep myself like being in a respectful way, right? I, I, Awesome 801. I would love to see it, man. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Yeah, so they keep just pushing meme coins on their space and all these things that have zero application. And look, I just went in there and I was like, look, man, like you guys are all cryptocurrency advocates, right? How is the best thing you found in cryptocurrencies a meme coin? How is the best thing you found in this entire space, right? A pump and dump. Like cryptocurrency's been here for 10 years. You have one company, and, and there's more than one just for to make it easy for people to understand, right? You have one company clearly working with regulated financial institutions to get adoption for cryptocurrencies, and that's the one you fud the most. It's it's a joke, right? It's like if you had any intelligence investing into this ecosystem, you would see that Ripple's by far and ahead one of the few companies bringing real world utility to cryptocurrencies. And these people would rather talk about what meme coin is pumping on any individual day. Uh, in my opinion, it shows a severe lack of maturity. It shows a severe lack of actually understanding the products being built at hand. And it shows a severe lack of the technology. Um, it's so important to realize that this technology completely transforms the rails of how the financial system works. And all these people think that the same reason why they think Bitcoin transforms the rails for their own personal finances, right? They can't comprehend that big institutions are going to need that same exact thing. So if you can deliver institutions a better, faster Bitcoin that is going to perform the same kind of benefits that Bitcoin does on a financial institutional level. It's so easy to understand why this would be dramatically important, dramatically important for big institutions. But for some reason, these people have a very hard time comprehending that. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I think ultimately when the price goes up, when it starts ripping, you're going to see all of those sentiments change. Um, and I just think they're going to be left in the dust. And, and I'm excited for the day, right? 
I'm excited for the day where XRP does what we all know it's going to do. XRP gets that wide scale adoption and I can sit on those bases and be like, look, it, it was almost like talking to like a brick wall. Like you guys were so focused on these things that added absolutely no value to the cryptocurrency ecosystem. You guys were so focused on these broken projects that create absolutely nothing of use case. And meanwhile, I was up here telling you that a financially regulated or a financially institutionally focused company was building real world utility for XRP, you're just ignoring. So only only meme coin is Brad coin, huh? No, look, and, and I'm not anti meme coin either, right? I'm, I'm not anti meme coin. Honestly, I think meme coins are cool. I think they're funny. It, it's just interesting to me that, you know, like that's the best you can find in crypto, right? There's so much more there and to ignore that, I just think is silly. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, guys, all, guys, make sure to drop a like on the stream. We have almost 450 people in here, only 100 likes. So if we could get those likes up, that'd be absolutely incredible. Really, really helps me out. And also, guys, we're doing member-only live streams now. So would love to get more and more members in the chat. Um, that would be really, really cool. Um, ultimately, I would love to move forward to... Uh, I would love to move to a mechanism where uh, live streams with member only chat. Unfortunately, I can't do that on my phone still for whatever bizarro reason, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, if you can't find the like button, minimize the chat and the like button will show up. XRP stable coins for the masses, XRP reserved or central banks. So XRP stable coin, right, issued by Ripple. Let's talk about that for a little bit. Um, over the long term, I don't think Ripple stable coin is going to be the holy grail, right? I think it's a good short term product. What do I mean by that? Right now, the XRP Ledger ecosystem desperately needs a stable coin. So it makes sense that Ripple would create that stable coin because we need a stable coin on the XRP Ledger. There's no doubt about it. I honestly would have loved to see Circle provide that stable coin, but for whatever, whatever reason, Circle doesn't want to do it. So Ripple is stepping in and providing the stable coin, which I think is ultimately a great solution. I think it's going to be like perfect. I don't think financial institutions are going to adopt Ripple stable coin. Some might, but I don't think a lot will. Why? Because financial institutions don't have any incentive to use another company's stablecoin. Financial institutions create, can create their own stablecoin and put their own assets on the XRP ledger. So the XRP Ripple stablecoin is going to be very, very, very important for DeFi, very important for retail, very important for people getting dollars on the XRP ledger. But ultimately, I'm still convinced the holy grail of cryptocurrency is companies and institutions issuing their own deposits on the XRP ledger. They backed by U.S. dollars, bonds, and other assets. I wonder what other they refer to, maybe XRP itself. I don't think, Ed, I don't think they're going to back um, the XRP uh, stablecoin with XRP itself. I think in the future, that's certainly possible. But right now, there's just too many regulatory headaches to do something like that. Um, the XRP ledger desperately needs a stable coin. And I just think right now they're just going to do the safest thing possible, which is just cash and treasuries. Um, maybe they back it with XRP. I just don't really see that being necessary right now. In the long term, it would be really cool to see something like that. I think it would be good. And I think overall, if right, we had a if we had an ecosystem or a regulatory ecosystem that was actually looking to benefit this industry, right? Something like that would be very possible and it'd be possible to do that in a succinct and easy manner. I just don't think we're really at the stage right now where a company can do that in a way where regulators aren't going to be breathing down their neck. Um, looking at the stablecoin legislation going into the United States right now, it looks like there's going to be set reserve, set reserve requirements for your stable coins. And it looks like it's hundred percent cash. So, um, I don't think Ripple's going to want to do anything that disqualifies them from that stablecoin legislation. And guys, it's really important to understand that Circle dropped the ball here, right? They're they're opening the door for Ripple to create the largest stablecoin on the XRP ledger. 
And uh, Ripple could really become a major stablecoin issuer very quickly. I think there's going to be a lot of demand for Ripple stablecoin. I think one of the biggest issues with other stablecoins in the XRP ledger market right now is there's not a lot of trust in those stablecoins. I think Ripple is going to have a lot of trust from the XRP community in that stablecoin. And I'm already thinking, right? Um, I, I'm going to be willing to put a large portion of my deposits in that stablecoin. And now I'm more incentivized than ever to use the automated market maker. So I'm really excited about this development. Uh, I, I feel very comfortable with holding a stable coin issued by Ripple. Obviously, Ripple's a company I love. And I just was a little sketched out about using some of the other stable coins issued on the XRP ledger. But Lunatics, XRP stable coin, goodbye XRP use cases. Lunatics, not at all. Not at all. And this is really important to understand. XRP is a liquidity token. A stable coin is a payment token. And I think it's so important that the XRP uh, community understand this, right? XRP is liquidity. It, it, it creates deep pockets of liquidity to transfer one asset to another. But it never made sense for people to be paying for stuff in XRP. Yes, we, we in the XRP community, right? We might pay each other with XRP, but it's just because you and I both want XRP. But in a future financial system, right? No one pays for things in assets. People pay for things in US dollars. Now, despite the fact now, despite the fact that the dollar goes down every single year and is inflated, we still pay for things in dollars. And why? Because it's a medium in exchange that's easy to understand and that everyone could recognize. The XRP ledger needs a medium of an exchange. And Ripple or and XRP, right, is a liquidity tool for mediums of exchange, but it's not a great payment vehicle because of its volatility. XRP is always going to act as liquidity for this stablecoin. It's going to make the stablecoin more liquid, especially in automated market makers. So XRP's use case is being cemented as a liquidity token and as a utility token, while um, the coin itself, right, the XRP ledger stablecoin, will be better for payments and dollar-denominated units. It's important to understand that both can be tremendously valuable, and I don't think this takes away from the use case of XRP at all. In fact, I think it makes XRP more valuable uh, as liquidity. Silver Days, good to see you, man. RPM, good to see you. Uh, King, what does Ripple stablecoin mean for the price of XRP? Um, ultimately, I think it's going to drive more use cases on the XRP ledger. I think it's going to bolster the XRP ecosystem. I think it's going to create deeper liquidity for XRP because people are going to have dollar denominated units they can use on the XRP ledger. And I think it's a necessary piece of the ecosystem that's been lacking. So overall, I think it's going to be really good for the price of XRP. I think people who think that XRP is being replaced by this stable coin are missing the bigger picture of what's being created here. Um, this stable coin is going to be very, very important to the DeFi ecosystem. Ripple won an award the other week for best institutional DeFi platform. Um, that institutional DeFi platform is going to need a stable coin and Ripple is going to be providing that stable coin. So now Ripple, right? Ripple has custody solutions in Mataco. Ripple has a stable coin in their XRP ledger stable coin. They're going to have XRP itself decentralized neutral liquidity. So you're just seeing the whole picture playing out. You're seeing everything kind of coming together. It's super, super exciting to see Ripple take this step. And uh, ultimately, I just think it was absolutely genius. Also, guys, if you're here right now, make sure to drop a like on the stream. Let's get it over 200. That would be absolutely amazing. Wow, this is interesting. This is really interesting, guys. I might have just came across something. Um, very interesting. Uphold just responded to a tweet involving XRP being used uh, within FedNow uh, to instantly withdraw to bank accounts. Now, they're not clear if XRP was the medium of exchange there. Um, but very, very interesting. Very interesting. 
Glad, good to see you, man. Good to see you. No, I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Look, I understand a lot of people are working during the day, so they have a hard time actually contributing, but we're just happy to have you here listening, right? So thank you, thank you, Glenn. Uh, love having you here, man. Uh, Meat Brawls, XRP to 10K, man. Uh, if XRP goes to 10K, uh, hopefully I'll have something better to live stream in than my car. <laughs> Chart show an explosion in the price coming. Yeah, guys, I completely agree, man. I completely agree. And and this is one of the things I've been harping on consistently, right? Something that I just want to make so clear. The fundamentals for XRP have never been better. And this is another great example of it. The XRP ledger stablecoin is going to be a huge step, a huge step in making a better DeFi ecosystem on the XRP ledger. We're one of the fastest chains. We're one of the most efficient. And guys, we are just at the start of this cryptocurrency revolution. Ripple just positioned themselves absolutely perfectly to really create a transformational ecosystem on the XRP ledger. And now I wonder if Circle's going to capitulate. Now I wonder if this is going to be the thing that makes Circle say, oh, we need to make an XRP ledger stable coin or else we're going to be left in the dust here, right? Why, if your circle, would you surrender the XRP ledger ecosystem, which is what they're doing? They are surrendering the XRP ledger ecosystem. I think this could be the thing that brings circle over. And if they don't come over with this, I think circle's got a serious issue and I'm fine not investing any money in circle. STM surge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother, man. STM Surge, really appreciate it. You're you're always you've always been a great supporter of the channel, so I I, I appreciate it so much. STM, uh, yeah, man, it, it's just an exciting day. It's an exciting day. Um, it, it, it's just another massive increase in the fundamentals of XRP, and with what we have around the corner with EVM side chains with. Uh, FXRP on the Flare network. Now it's stable coins, automated market makers. Guys, we're seeing a real DeFi, a real DeFi platform being built out here, and one that right is institutional ready. It, it's fast, it's efficient, it's clean. Stable coins are issued by trusted providers. We're not relying on Tether. It's just super, super cool to see this all coming together. Yeah, Daniel, I don't know what's up with Circle. Part of me, there's a couple reasons why I don't think Circle has done it. One, I understand, right, Circle saying, well, there wasn't DeFi on the XRP ledger, so did we really need to issue a stablecoin on the XRP ledger, right? I think that's an okay excuse, right? If that's their excuse, right, I can kind of say, okay, well, if there wasn't DeFi, right, maybe you have a point, maybe what's the point in the stablecoin there? But then you look at them having a coin on XLM and you're like, well, you, you have one on XLM, right? So like, there's not really DeFi there. So it doesn't really make sense to me why you'd have one on XLM and not XRP, but, but whatever, right? Let's write that one off. The other thing I can see is Circle sees Ripple as competition. Obviously, Circle's in the business of moving money all around the world. They have the biggest stable coin out there. Why would you create a stable coin on the XRP ledger that's gonna make the XRP ledger more powerful and thus Ripple? That's another thing that I think could possibly be an answer. And if that's the answer, right? Well, it's business, right? It's a business decision. So if you're circle thinking, I don't want to bolster the XRP ledger ecosystem because it's going to bolster Ripple and ultimately Ripple's competition for us. I don't hate that decision to be completely honest with you, right? As an XRP holder, I'm not a fan of the decision, but do I understand wanting to do that? It's a smart business play, right? It's a smart business play. You don't want to bolster one of your biggest competitions. The last thing would just be straight up maximalism and maybe Circle just doesn't like XRP. The thing that threw me off more than anything was seeing Jeremy O'Leary and the head of Circle's research department tweeting out congratulating Brad and Ripple. That was surprising to me. So I don't know, man. This story gets weirder and weirder the more you look into it. There's been a lot of strange stories in the history of the XRP Ledger ecosystem. But Circle being on stage with Brad, uh, Brad Garlinghouse and David Schwartz talking about how Ripple and, Ripple and Circle could work together and then not seeing anything come of it and then seeing Ripple create a product that's massive competition to Circle and then Circle coming out and congratulating Ripple, it's just never made less sense to me, right? It just doesn't make any sense to me in the slightest. But 
You know, maybe there's more to it behind the scenes. Maybe I'm missing something or maybe all their kind of talk uh, is just more of like, a, hey, congratulations. And meanwhile, behind the scenes, like, oh, I can't believe they did that. I don't know. It's a funny story, though. It's a funny story. Um, it, it's on the, it, there's some stories that I don't think we'll ever have an answer to in this ecosystem. And, uh, that's one of them, right? But man, and man, do I, I love this ecosystem. It's so cool to have this kind of news day in and day out and just being able to pop up a live stream and talk about something so, so fascinating. Um, I, I do think this, this is, this is the most excited I've been about a Ripple product in a very long time, a very long time. The last product that I really got excited about was when um, ODL changed, right? When ODL started trying to change to liquidity pools in the DEX. Um, and then overall, before that, it was just ODL itself. ODL, the product, I thought was very uh, in a, very new, very transformational. Um, yeah, it's going to be funny for the SEC, right? It's going to be funny for the SEC because they're calling... They're calling um, the SEC is calling XRP a stablecoin, but then by their own logic, right, a stablecoin isn't a security. So XRP is a security, but the stablecoin issued by Ripple on the XRP ledger isn't a stablecoin. Like, it just shows that the SEC's case is trending to zero faster than anything else. You know what would have been funny, though? You know what would have been funny? And I, I kind of wish Ripple did this a little bit. I wish Ripple denominated multiple uh, stable coins. So they had a $1, a $10, and a $100 stable coin. Um, I don't think there would be any reason to do it. I just think it would be cool. I think it'd be cool to have a $100 stable coin. Um, maybe that makes absolutely no sense. Maybe that's pointless. But I do think it'd be cool to have different denominations of the stable coin. Um, it would just be unique, right? There's no $100 stable coin out there. I would just like Ripple to kind of, regardless of whether or not it even like is necessary, just kind of put it their own little twist on it. But who knows? We're still early, right? Who knows what Ripple's going to add to this product? Who knows how it's going to be built out? Who knows how the redemption process is going to work? It, it, it's, it's all new. It's just exciting to see the innovation, right? And it's exciting to see that Ripple now is like looking at the SEC and saying, you know, we're in the middle of a case with you, but uh, here you go, right? This is our next product. And we're gonna make we're gonna make hundreds of millions with this new product, um, guys. Tether has Tether has one of the worst reputations in the industry, and they've built a stable coin up to um, hundreds of billions of dollars. Just imagine what Ripple's gonna be able to do. Imagine what Ripple's gonna be able to do. Ripple's gonna create, I, I believe, an outstanding product here, an outstanding product. So 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 excited, so excited. See what else we got. Let's see what else we got. That's what drops are for? Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Mickle, was is the settlement date supposed to be? Um, there is no settlement date. The case should end this summer after um the final evidence is filed the final evidence is filed may 6th i think something like that so then the case is over and then we just wait for judge torres ed you're right ed that's a great comment this really does help the unbanked this helps the unbanked a lot um th this does right because be to be able to get access to us dollars through the xrp ledger it's a massive innovation. I mean, prior you were getting access to dollars through Ethereum, right? And you just paid more in fees than to actually use the stable coin. So uh, the stable coin was always best, was always best to be built on the XRP ledger. And I'm just shocked. I'm shocked of Circle, that Circle let Ripple beat them there. I'm shocked that Circle is congratulating Ripple on beating them there. Um, it, it, it's just funny. Just checking the news real quick. Roger, man, good to have you. Good to have you. Welcome, 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 Roger. What is the 
what is the biz of a stable? How do they make money from having money? It's just small fees. No, Ed, Ed, let me explain this to you because this is this is this is fun, right? Ed, this is fun. Um, what Ripple is gonna do, right, is take money in for their stable coin and issue a deposit on the XRP ledger. So that's a one for one, right? There's no money being made there. But Ripple can then take those deposits, issue them in treasuries, and then create yield based on those deposits being there. Now, Ed, this is when it gets even more exciting. If they can ramp up this stablecoin business and have a couple billion of dollars of stablecoins under management, which I think is more than likely based on the fact that Circle and Tether have done it, and Ripple is a more credible company than both of those companies. But if you have hundreds of billions of dollars in stablecoins and you're earning a 5% yield on those stablecoins, Ed, that's, that's the easiest million dollars to, that's the uh, easiest couple hundred million dollars a quarter you can ever get so all ripple is going to do is invest the money into treasuries and get the yield yep 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 they're just getting yield based off those deposits there you go eddie eddie there you go there's the revenue this is going to be the easiest revenue business model of all time for ripple of all time and i have been screaming for them to do this screaming because it made no sense not to it made no sense not to it's the easiest business on earth all you have to do is take in deposits, not lose the deposits, put it in treasuries, and sit back and watch the money roll in. It is the easiest revenue on earth. And the XRP ledger is desperate for a stable coin, desperate for one. It is such a great blockchain for a stable coin, such a great blockchain for a stable coin. And to have a trusted issuer like Ripple putting that stable coin out there, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And you know, I can't wait for the people to come out saying, oh, this is a Ripple stable coin. Oh, it's centralized, right? Because I think there wasn't, wasn't, wasn't a better party out there other than Circle to issue this stable coin. The problem with having a small issuer issue a stable coin is just that people don't trust it and people don't have confidence in it. But having Ripple be the player to come in and throw that stable coin down, Man, I, I, look, there's there's not many companies in crypto I trust more than Ripple. Really, there's really not. Um, if you told me that I had to take my entire bank account and give it to one cryptocurrency company for uh, three years, like it, it would probably be Ripple. Ripple or, I don't know, maybe like Uphold or Circle, right? There's not many I'd pick from. So the fact that Sir Ripple's kind of in that trusted ring of crypto custodians and they're the one issuing the stable coin is going to add a lot of credibility to it. And, and like Eddie was saying, right? It's revenue, revenue, revenue. It's more revenue for Ripple outside of selling XRP. Uh, it's another, it's another game changing product for Ripple. Um, and I do think this has potential, right? I do think this has potential to really, really, really disrupt the market. To really disrupt the market. Dirt Nap Defense, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mickle membership, man. Good to have you, man. Love seeing you here. Love seeing you here. You always have incredible comments. So, guys, Ed, you hear that, Eddie? Eddie? Ed said you had a great video. Eddie, Ed, Ed is a great guy, man. He's a great guy. He's a big fan of yours, too. So, gotta, gotta give you guys both a shout out there. Ed, Ed's amazing. Um, I'll have to check out the video too. I, I guess I'll have to check out the video too. Um, I love the appreciation for Eddie in this chat. She, she's absolutely incredible. Love having her here. And, uh, I'm glad you guys are showing her so much love because she deserves it. Uh, the true, the true crypto queen, I think of the XRP community. I think we could all say that for sure. Um, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got here. How will this affect price? Look, I think what this is going to do is really bolster the XRP ledger ecosystem in terms of DeFi. Tracy, it's snowing in CT. What the heck? I thought we were done with the snow. I know, Tracy. It, it's ridiculous. Um, what is this going to do for the price of XRP? Look, for the longest time, and I've been screaming this from the rooftops, but for the longest time, there wasn't much you could do on the XRP ledger. A lot of people like to blame the fact that there wasn't development on the XRP ledger because people didn't want to use XRP products or because the community, right, wasn't interested or because, right, there wasn't smart contract or whatever, right? There was a lot of different reasons we didn't see DeFi on the XRP ledger. 
But I think the biggest reason was just there was nothing to build in terms of DeFi. For the longest time, the only thing you could really do on the XRP ledger was trade from one coin to another and send money from point A to point B. But now what we're seeing is for the first time ever, we are seeing automated market makers and DeFi being put on the XRP ledger. What this means is for the first time ever, we are likely going to see an explosion of products providing services to give DeFi, real DeFi to the XRP ledger, which is going to be a game changer. For DeFi, you need a stable coin. You need a dollar denominated unit so you can transfer into a non-volatile asset. This is where this tool is going to be so, so important. And we need to understand, right? that this is, this is just part of a piece to a much bigger plan. The other day, Ripple won an award for best institutional DeFi solution. Mix that with custody with Mitako, mix that with custody with PolySign, add a stable coin, add DeFi via the XRP ledger, add Ripple's tokenization strategy with nations and institutions putting their own deposits on the XRP ledger, and you get a DeFi ecosystem that we don't have today. Right now, DeFi is dominated by DGen, high fee models, and meme coins. That is that the idea of an institutional grade DeFi ecosystem, I don't believe we've really seen yet. And I believe, right, if you combine institutional grade custody with an institutional grade DeFi platform with a trusted stable coin issued by Ripple with a fast and efficient blockchain like the XRP Ledger, you could have a whole new view of what DeFi is and especially a DeFi ecosystem that isn't pushing unrealistic yields and is propped up by high inflation and imaginary money. Guys, there's a lot of DeFi systems out there that have done a great job in generating attention, but it really is magic internet money being created out of nowhere. The best part about the automated market maker on the XRP ledger is it's just simple trading fees arbitraged into yield. So it, it's super, super exciting to see that built out. And it, it's giving the XRP ledger something it's lacked for a very long time now, which is that internal, right? That internal mechanism for creating decentralized liquidity. Brian, good to see you. Frank, good to see you. The AMMs are central. The AMMs are central. Liquidity is going to go bonkers. XRP ledger burn the transaction functional bridge. Look, guys, I, I am. Look, I, the biggest reason why I didn't want to step into the automated market maker at first was because I didn't have that dominant, that dollar denominated unit that I wanted, right? I didn't want to go to GitHub. I didn't want to use GitHub's issued USDC because then you're taking. USDC, which is an issued asset, issuing it on top of GitHub, so it's a double issued asset. It just didn't make sense to me. We needed we needed some grease, right? We need some grease in the system on the stable coin side. And Ripple just came in, I think, with a home run stable coin. Um, something that is really gonna juice the gears of the automated market maker. I, I I would not be surprised, right? I would not be surprised if within a week of Ripple stablecoin being launched, we saw hundreds of millions of dollars flowing into their stablecoin. I would not be surprised in the slightest because this is one of the first products I have seen on the XRP ledger that I am truly, truly excited to utilize. I, I wanted this stable coin. I wanted a dollar denominated unit from a trusted issuer. And that's what Ripple stepped up and did in a really big way, really big way. And that to me, that to me is kind of a home run kind of product. Now in the future, right? I really hope we get more issuers on the XRP ledger issuing trusted products, right? Trusted, trusted units. Um, other than Ripple, right? I think it's important to understand that we don't want Ripple to do everything, but this is a great bridge step, and I think something we needed bad. Uh, Dirtnap says 500 viewers and not 500 likes. Hit the like button. Yes, 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 guys. I'd really, really appreciate it. And um, I think today, because it's such a big announcement, because it's such a such a public thing going on right now. I think we're going to leave the, uh, I think we're going to leave the live stream public today. Um, and then tomorrow we'll do the, uh, tomorrow we'll do the public live stream into the private live stream. So 
We'll get a member member only live stream going tomorrow. But because right now everyone's so excited, let, let's let's keep it public today. Let's keep it rolling. And honestly, the spam hasn't been egregious today. The, the spam hasn't been egregious today. I think the moderators, the moderators get a nice little break from having to click every single message and report it. So, uh, so great, great stream so far. And, and, and it's just so nice to see this ecosystem growing in the way it is. Man, I, I, man, I, this is just the start of what I believe, uh, I believe is going to be very, very exciting. Yeah, the mods the mods have done an incredible job. Shout out to the mods. Um, Rudy, great question. Look, this is the question I'm getting the most. So, Rudy, don't worry about it. I, I love answering these questions. Um, everyone is asking, right, is XRP stablecoin going to be used instead of XRP? Guys, the pivot's already been in, right? The pivot's already been in. XRP, right, is probably not ever going to be a payments token like Ripple originally intended for it to be. Rip XRP is being positioned to be a liquidity token, I believe. I think it makes a lot more sense. What Ripple is creating on the XRP ledger is a very, very unique form of what I believe the future financial system is going to look like. What Ripple is doing is creating a system where you can come in when any asset you want and access XRP as decentralized neutral liquidity. XRP is that thing that is liquid to everything else. XRP is that bridge within the system to create liquidity to all of the different assets. A dollar denominated stable coin, right? Look, people are going to be able to use that and transfer that uh, coin for payments. People are going to be able to use that coin for payout, but it still needs underlying liquidity. XRP is that universal decentralized liquidity for the entire platform. It's the grease for the system. For a while, a lot of people saw XRP, right, as the thing that would be the payment engine for the vehicle, but it doesn't really make sense because it's still a volatile asset. XRP is still going to be used in some ways as a bridge, I think specifically when connecting centralized counterparties. But XRP makes a lot more sense as being the liquidity in the system rather than being the payment system itself. So look, this is just another tool built on top of the XRP ledger. It's going to bring more utility, more practicality to using the XRP ledger ecosystem. It's going to lock up more XRP in the DeFi ecosystem as XRP acts as that liquidity. Guys, at the end of the day, this is still a centralized, this is still a centralized trusted product. XR, this XRP stable coin is Ripple's stable coin. If Ripple disappeared, the stable coin disappears. It's a trusted product. It has counterparty risk. It is great. It's important, but it's not XRP. XRP is decentralized, jurisdictionless, neutral, which is always going to be unique and always going to demand its own use case in the system. Crypto Clay, he said, what up, what up? Busy out here building America. Good for you, Crypto Clay, man. Good for you, good for you. Always love seeing you. What will the financial institutions use? Daniel, I don't think the financial institutions are going to use Ripple's stablecoin, right? I think the financial institutions are going to say, hey, we're here to use the XRP ledger, right? We're going to issue our own stablecoin. So look, Bank of America is not going to use um, Ripple's stablecoin, I don't think, right? If Bank of America wants to issue deposits on the XRP ledger, they're not going to use JP Morgan stablecoin. They're not going to use Circle stablecoin. They're not going to use Wells Fargo stablecoin. They're just going to issue their own stablecoin, right? Bank of America has the money. Bank of America has the deposits. They're going to issue their own deposits. Now that begs the question, how is Bank of America going to use its deposits in a system where no one else wants their deposits, right? What Bank of America is going to do is use XRP as the liquidity to bridge their deposits to other institutional deposits. So what we're seeing is more complex systems built, being built out 
what we're seeing is a deeper depth of Ripple's products, and what we're seeing is DeFi becoming integral to the system. XRP can still always be used as a bridge currency between centralized systems, but for on-chain deposits, we're going to see XRP acting more as liquidity and as a way to essentially create deep payment channels between different institutionally issued assets. I think that's always where Ripple has seen this going. In the meantime, it's going to be it's going to be very very nice, right? It's going to be very nice to have a stable coin on the XRP ledger, but I think it's more of a short term, hey, this is needed than any kind of uh this is going to replace anything we've already seen. Checking the news quick, checking the news quick. Uh, let's see if we got anything. Oh, nice. You got a very nice. Chadwick, Chadwick, I just saw you subbed, man. I don't know if you're in the live stream right now, but uh, just saw you subbed to the uh, to the X account. Awesome, 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 man. Love having you there. I'm accepting you right now. And um, actually... I, I'm going to have to do that when the live stream ends because I don't want to end it. So let me unfollow you here real quick. So remember to do that later. Um, let's see what we got. Does anyone else see the irony in XRP stables utilizing ETH as well? Look, uh, look, that's, that's the thing that I need to think XRP holders need to understand, right? Like Ethereum is still a very prominent blockchain and it makes absolute sense to be building there. Look, lunatics, because Ripple Ripple's bigger than actually caring about like ETHgate in the early days. Ripple understands where they're positioned. Ripple understands, right, that their products are going to gain adoption regardless of what happened in the early days with giving Ethereum a free pass. Ripple understands they're going to win on the tech. Ripple understands they have the best, right, institutionally ready blockchain technology that's actually going to get adoption. And I just don't think Ripple's interested in relitigating these early day things, right? Ripple understands what happened with Ethereum was sketchy. They understand what happened, but they're not here to hold grudges, right? They're here to build the best system possible. And honestly, I would rather see Ripple moving forward and just building products that real world institutions are going to want to adopt rather than trying to relitigate the past. If anything, guys, I really do think this could end up working good for Ripple, especially if the SEC ends up going after Ethereum nowadays. Because if the SEC goes after Ethereum um, and this entire thing was to give Ripple just a head start on the regulation, if this entire thing gave Ripple uh, clarity on XRP before anyone else got clarity, then I think a lot of people will be looking back and saying thank you to ETHgate, right? So I think it's, we're still in a position where we don't know how things end up. I think very easily we could look back at this case in the future and actually think of it as kind of a blessing to the community. Um, and I just think it's important, right, that we realize at the end of the day, the best product is going to win because the best product is the best product, not because some regulator gave certain companies a free pass into the system. Um, you can look at any kind of innovation, whether it was Tesla in the EV market, so many different regulators tried to slow down Tesla. So many different regulators try to give, give Big Auto an advantage. Ripple, I mean, Tesla still won because they had the best product. I believe Ripple's going to win because they have the best product, not because a regulator gave ETH an advantage in the early days. ETH rug pull on the 7th. Interesting. Yeah, I do think Ripple, in a way, was lucky to go first. I do think they were lucky to go first. Yeah, I do believe this is the long game, right? I do believe this is the long game. Look, I understand, right? I hope ETHgate gets as much attention as possible. I hope people blow the whistle on that. I hope we move towards a world where people understand what happened there. But I don't think Ripple's the company that we want litigating it, right? I don't think we want Ripple to be the company picking winners and losers here. Uh, let's let private organizations do that. Let's have John D and do that. Let's have all these different uh, third-party organizations do that because we're just focused on Ripple building the best products possible.
King saying, I don't think Brad was right. Look, I'm the biggest Brad Garlinghouse fan out there. I love Brad. I think he's a top 10 CEO in the world. Um, I think he does an outstanding job. And I think one day Brad Garlinghouse is going to be looked at in the likes of Elon Musk. So I don't, I don't have, I have more praise for Brad than I have most other CEOs out there. Um, I don't think Brad was right at all when he said 99% of crypto was going to go away. I understand why he said that. I understand what he was thinking, but I think he was wrong. I think he was wrong. And that's okay, right? Brad's not going to be right about everything. Brad's human. Brad is 100% human. So um, look, I'm a huge fan of Brad. I think Brad blows it out of the water with uh, what he does. And I just don't think he's right on 99% going away. Um, I can see why he thought that. I would have thought that too if I was Brad, right? If I was Brad and I saw all these different crap coins coming up every single day, all these different terrible projects showing up, and me sitting there working with regulators, working with institutions to create real-world cryptocurrency products, I'd be sitting there thinking too, right? There's no way all these other meme coins are going to be the winners in this entire thing. So I understand why Brad got it wrong, but I don't think we should be holding Brad to that comment. I don't think overall that's going to be the comment of Brad that ages the best. Look, and Brad said other things as well, right? Brad said other things as well that I think is uh, is going to be going, that will end up being wrong. But that's perfectly fine because my favorite thing about Brad Garlinghouse is he's more than happy to adjust Ripple strategy based on changes in the market. And I really do believe, right? I really do believe Brad has been an outstanding CEO. So I'm perfectly fine with him not being right about every single thing he says. Trolls going to troll for sure. The trolls are always going to have something to say, but I think at the end of the day, they're just going to keep being wrong more and more frequently, more and more frequently. What up, what up? Guys, also, if you're enjoying the live stream, right, make sure you're subbed to the channel. Um, I always get comments from people saying, oh, I can't believe I missed another live stream. Guys, if you're subbed to the channel, we'll make sure that when you go on YouTube, this live stream's actually recommended to you when I'm live. Um, so just to, I just want to toss it out there. There's a lot of people who are often getting here late and they just don't even think about it, right? So like, just make sure that if you do often find yourself showing up late and you want to show up on time so you're here for the entire thing, I, I always think live streams are more fun, right? When you're there for the whole live thing rather than coming late. Just make sure you're subbed, right? And make sure you even maybe turn that notification bell on. It's just going to make sure that you get here on time and you don't miss the live stream. Darren, I checked out parts of the James O'Keefe interview Honestly, I already knew all of it, right? Like I already, I was so deep in ETHgate for so long. Like it's just all for me kind of recycled information. Um, that's not a shot at anything anyone was saying on that live stream. It's just that like we're still in the educational phase and a lot of people are being forced to relearn everything since day one. Um, I don't think that's bad, right? I, I, I think, um, I think, right, you can't go to James O'Keefe and explain to him as if he already knew everything going on, right? He didn't. He needs to be caught up to speed. So it's just not something that I necessarily feel the need that I have to watch the entire thing. Um, if anything new or groundbreaking comes out from it, I'm going to see it, right? People are going to show it to me. Um, but, you know, I, I don't have to rewatch the same thing 15 times over to know that it's the same information, right? I'm not taking shots at anyone for saying it's the same information. I think it needs to be the same information. I think people need to understand what's going on. And there's not going to be a new groundbreaking development every single day. But it's for me, right, I only have so much time. I only have so many resources that I can allocate to each individual thing. And for me, right, just watching people talk about the same thing over and over again isn't necessarily worth it. In the same exact way, right, I'm not going to go to 
25 different spaces or 25 different interviews talking about the automated market maker from square one, right? I love listening to the automated market maker. I love learning about it. But if it's the same discussion over and over and over again, right, with nothing new, well, then eventually, right, I'm going to say, you know what, this is important for some people who haven't learned about it yet, but it's not necessarily being marketed towards me. Uh, Mike, you can't actually get the Ripple stablecoin yet. Um, I, I already love the excitement for it, though. I love the excitement already. Uh, you can't get it yet. It's not live yet. They just put out that they're doing it today. So I would assume we're probably going to see it very soon because I think Ripple's going to want it live for the automated mark for the automated market maker. But we're not there yet. We shall get there. We shall get there. Oh, this is interesting. The CEO of Quant just came out. The CEO of Quant just came out um, and tweeted that uh, the Ripple stablecoin was amazing news. So it looks like this is getting a lot of attention from the big boys, right? And for him, right, I understand why he would want it because he's probably looking at his options right now. Uh, I wanted to see what else he said. He said something else interesting. I'm sure it will be on Uphold. That's a great comment right there. Whoever said that. Um, Crew Chief, I'm sure it will be on Uphold. I think it will be on Uphold. I hope it's USDX, right? I like USDX a lot. This is interesting. This is interesting. Um, J.W. Verrett, someone who's been a very trusted lawyer in the crypto community. Um, said the SEC typically collects 11% of unregistered sales claims, but in the Ripple case, they want 300%. Rip USD would be funny. That would be funny. I don't know if Ripple's in the business of creating funny names for their new institutional grade cryptocurrency, but... Certainly, certainly funny. That is funny. Um, oh, man, it's so exciting to see the, the hype around this. It's so exciting to see the hype around this. It's so cool to see Circle and Quant coming out, congratulating Ripple. Uh, and it's nice to see Ripple creating a crypto native product, right? All of this stuff is just super, super, super exciting. Oh, here we go. This is funny too. 75% of Solana transactions are currently failing. So guys, this is what I mean, right? Like, look, there is so much noise. There is so much crap in crypto and all of that noise and all of that crap is what the masses are paying attention to. The masses cannot get their eyes off the crap. Constant, constant, constant failure by things like Solana just to create centralized systems with nothing unique, nothing crypto native, nothing game changing, nothing that is actually going to be adopted on any institutional scale. What we see out of Ripple is institutional grade products that are ready for prime time. Today, Ripple took another step in creating a product that I believe is going to be transformational and getting their systems adopted. Guys, the rest of the cryptocurrency industry is looking for ways to FUD this. They're looking for ways to say it's not going to be important. They're looking for ways to discredit it while they pump their money into meme coins on Solana that are going to amount to nothing. I think we're one of the few communities out there that actually understands the bigger picture. I think one of the few communities out there that actually understands that cryptocurrencies are going to be used for so much more than just moving value into the next rug pull, right? I think one of the few communities who understands that this technology should be used by big institutions. They need companies like Ripple to push the technology to the big institutions. And once they have that kind of in their bag, they're going to be able to adopt these systems at a wide scale level. So look, guys, most of the industry is sleeping. I don't think you should be worried or upset by the fact that most people haven't figured it out. Eventually, they're going to figure it out. The only difference is, is they're going to be late. 
buying our bags that are much higher because we do it from the start. We were the educated investors who understood that what was being built here since day one. We were the adults in the room who understood, right, that this technology has so much more use case and just pumping bags, going on chains that shut down every day and pump, pumping meme coins, right? This, this, this is the rails for what I believe will be a next generation financial system. And I believe what Ripple did today is a massive step in pushing that adoption to a whole new height. Guys, with that said, I got to get to work. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you to all the members. We will do a member live stream only tomorrow and make it nice and long so we can really jump into kind of the implications of this, how I see this affecting the rest of the industry. You guys are absolutely incredible. I love you so much. Amazing live stream. Talk to you guys later. Have a good night.